Everything is within. You are an alchemist. So then how do we take energy because all we are is energy because we live in this low density, this low dimension, everything is physicalized. And most people can't understand energy because you can't touch it because it's not tangible, right? Because it can't be proven to you. But we all know that we can feel energy when we walk into a room. We know Mm -hmm. when energy shifts within somebody. We know when it shifts within us, right? We know when something's activated. So it is, that's why faith is so crazy because it is the unseen. And so that's when I walked into this program and I was like, I want to be a coach for you. And so teach me how to do alchemy. And so basically for six months, the first three months were, was going through myself, was understanding how, how do I take my pain and transform it? And so what is energy? And everybody knows it's science, right? Energy can never die. It can only be transferred to something else, right? Just like when you put an ice cube into boiling hot water, it's, the ice cube doesn't disappear, it turns into water, right? And so that's energy. It's always alchemized into something else. So then how can we not do that with all of our wounding? How can you, how can we transfer anger and unworthiness and alchemize it into love and power, right? And so I was like, okay, teach me, how do we do this, right? And when I entered this program, I was like, I'm gonna learn a few things. My life exploded in the most intense way because the universe was like, you ready now? you ready to remember how to do this? And I was like, I guess so. And so my life blew up. And so what I teach people now as a mystical life coach is, first of all, there's a trigger, right? So let's say, Aileen, you called, like, but you said something to me that triggered me. And everybody knows what a trigger is. If it's something takes you 100% out of peace, you're triggered, Mm -hmm. okay? So then the trigger is there. Let's go deeper. What are, what's your, what's the mental programs that are playing? What's your mind saying about this trigger? So for example, I'll give you a great example. I was triggered recently because uh, my boyfriend, uh, he's on, he's on the same level as me, right? Uh, And and we're both mystical life coaches together and he is accelerating at a really fast pace, right? And I see now that his soul definitely came here to be enlightened. And recently my teacher, our mentor was really complimenting him a lot, right? And I was in the same room as him. And I started getting triggered by that, right? And so my job is to not to go, oh, F him. He thinks he's better than than me. My job is to go, ooh, what's this going on here? Like, why do I feel all of these like, quote unquote, negative emotions? And so when I started going into it, right, it was like, what's the trigger? The trigger is that my teacher is complimenting my boyfriend and I feel like he's better than me. So then what is my mind saying? I suck. I'm unworthy. See, Ellie, you're never good at anything. You can never accomplish anything. You're just always subpar, Ellie, right? And then the next thing is, what are the emotional programs that are triggered within me? Worry, anxiety, fear that I'm falling behind, unworthiness. I'm scared. I have literally anxiety rushing through me. And then it's, how am I behaving out of that? So what are the behavioral programs? Well, I shut down. I close up. I get really quiet, which is something my inner child did a lot. Every time I felt like I wasn't worth something or I wasn't seen or I wasn't heard, I would just close up and I get super quiet. And then the next question Mm -hmm. is, how old are you? How old do you feel? And then bam, Mm -hmm. I knew that the core wound for me was unworthiness. That's a core wound that's been with me my whole life of never feeling like I'm worth anything, right? So the trigger was that my boyfriend's getting complimented. It's never about the trigger. It's about all the energies underneath the trigger. And so I hit the core wound of unworthiness and I felt unworthy since I was like three, since I can remember. And then when I tap into that, that's the energy that's being activated right now, right? So that energy is asking to be seen and to be loved. And so then the next question is, how do I love this energy so that I can transform it? So now that I've done all the journal work to get to the unworthiness, now it's about how do I open my heart and invite the darkness in? Because all I've ever done is when I feel unworthiness, I close and I repress and I suppress and I'll do anything else so that I don't feel this pain. When in reality, The way to alchemize is to feel the pain, is to feel everything that your little child felt when this energy was first birthed in you. So then I go in and I spend time with her and we go into that place of when did you still, when did you feel unworthy, Ellie? 
It was like, oh, I remember I was three years old and I remember I was in karate class and all the kids were like breaking like these karate boards and I was the only one that couldn't do it. And I was so embarrassed and I was so shamed. And then after that, that unworthiness just kept visiting me over and over again, whether it was through piano classes, whether it was through schooling, whether whatever it was, that energy just kept being activated over and over. But because we're not taught to learn how to love this energy, how to open our hearts, to invite this energy in, to spend time with our inner child to let them know, hey, that was just an experience. You are worthy, baby. It's got nothing to do with how many boards you can break, how good you are at school, but that's what the world tells us. That's that's That deems us worthy. And so our job, my job is to open my heart, invite the energy, love my inner child, let her know what it means to be worthy, remind her of the divine being that she is, remind her that all of these experiences are not here to bring her down. They were just here for her to experience this. And now that she's carried all of this, let me show you what it's like to be in your heart. Let me show you what it's like to love this. And the more that I feel the unworthiness, the more that I open my heart to it, that's how you begin to alchemize because it's the remembrance of who you truly are. And that's not going to happen overnight, especially (laughs) if it's a core survival wound. So every time you are triggered and this wound comes up, your job is to go into the pain. Your job is to love the pain. Your job is to get out of your mind and everything these programs that are running tells you to do. And instead, drop in to the beingness of who you are. 